Uh, welcome back to Eagle Eye, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is, a, is it, are, are we shooting? Yeah, record. Are, are we shooting? The red dots on. <laughs> I think we're recording. Eagle Eye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Eagle Eye. My name is Clay Real. And I'm Robert Weimer. And today we have our December 2016 issue. So with Christmas right around the corner, we want to go ahead and jump into our first story, uh, talking about some of our Christmas traditions. Um, the traditions I do at home for Christmas is that we usually um, get up and, and I open presents and then after that um, we basically have family come over for breakfast that morning and then after that we just um, wait until the, the, that evening and then um, the other side of my family comes um, to uh, my house that evening for dinner and then that's what we usually do on Christmas Day. Uh, my favorite things about Christmas is probably spending time with family and being reminded that um, Christ died on the cross for us and um, he, he is there for us and it's just, that's just my favorite part of Christmas. With Christmas right around the corner, we just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas from everyone here at the NCS Broadcasting Crew. We hope you guys have an incredible break and that you guys travel safely if you are going to travel. Now for our next video, we want to send it over to uh, one of our teachers and coaches, uh, Coach Span, to talk a little bit about him and his teaching career. Could you please say your name and spell it? Uh, Joey Spann, J-O-E-Y-S-P-A-N-N. -N. My first name is David, D-A-V-I-D, but I don't really go by that much unless it's somebody who just knows me professionally or sees my name written, David mm -hmm. Joe Spann. Yeah. Is it about basketball, about the sports and everything? Oh well, yeah. One, one of the one of the reasons I got into coaching is to not just the love of the sport, but also to the opportunity to to teach kids. I and to, and to actually, I love teaching Bible class as much as I love doing the basketball part of it. But the opportunity to be around young people. I was a youth minister for twenty five years, uh, then a pulpit minister for the next fifteen. Uh, the, and just the opportunity to help people and try to, to guide kids to, to the right to the Lord actually is why I'm doing the things I do. It's not about just playing the game. It's about trying to help the, the young people. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. So what do you coach? I coach right now middle school girls basketball and I assist Brandon Wood with the high school girls. Do you coach any other sports besides uh, basketball? I don't now, but I've coached softball. I was an assistant softball coach at Ezell Hardy for uh, 12 years, we went to the state championship game 12 years in a row. And uh, I've coached track and volleyball, uh, baseball. I've coached a lot of different things throughout all the years. Uh, are there any notable events that happened during your time coaching? Just in general? Yeah, I died during one of the games five years ago. I had a cardiac arrest on the court at halftime at Lipscomb. And uh, I was teaching at Good Pastor at the time. And I guess that was a notable event. 
<laughs> we've also, uh, 2001, uh, 2002, we won the state championship. And while I was at Ezell Harding, that was extremely exciting. Next year, we were runner-up. That was notable also. Mm. Thank you, Coach Mann, for sitting down talking with us about your teaching career. And now we're going to hand it over to Ford with 14 days of Christmas donations. Me and Jacob Kinslow are super in the spirit, and he actually came up with the idea, and then I brought it to student council, and we decided to make it a fundraiser for Toys for Tots. Well, what's exciting is that we're very blessed uh, here at Nashville Christian, and I think our student body um, represents our community very well and, and is uh, in that regard very giving and, and supportive of opportunities to help people in need. Um, and this being a time of year where giving is certainly celebrated and enjoyed, you know, our kids kind of jumped in and um, wanted to feel a part of that opportunity. And so I think we're going to have a lot of donations and I think we're going to have an opportunity to make a lot of kids happy that we'll never see or never know. And that's, that's part of the great thing about giving is that uh, you do it without wanting anything in return and, and you just know it's going to help somebody and, and you may never see them or know how what kind of joy that brings but just in your heart knowing that you did something to help is really good. Um, well we sent them to uh, an apartment complex and they're delivering them to kids that don't get as many presents that we are able to get around Christmas and so they were very pleased with our donation. Thank you Ford. Now we're going to hand it off to Aiden with his interview with Mr. Green, one of our NCS school counselors. So I'm the school counselor here at Nashville Christian. I work with primarily ninth and 10th graders, mm -hmm. sometimes older students. Miss King and I sometimes share students. I'm also the testing coordinator for grades uh, K through eight. I do, students will come in dealing with some issues, maybe whether it's uh, with peer interaction, with issues at home or things going on in their life, we get to work through them. And I, I usually limit myself to how it affects their schoolwork. So we'll be, uh, we do some one-on-one -on -one counseling, some small group counseling. I do, and one of the things I do is track grades and we run reports when students are not, maybe they're making D's or even F's, and I will follow up with those students, have them get the work turned in, interact with the teacher and try to get their grades up so they can pass and have, be a, uh, have a successful uh, school year. I really do. I've been surprised at all the uh, real life issues that everybody has and uh, it's been fun to, to walk with students through that and also it's just a great environment and not a good Christian environment that we're all seeking to you know kind of head in the same direction and we're all pulling together so it's been very rewarding. This is my second year I started last year Yes, I do. For the most part, I like most of the staff. There's a few, you know, knuckleheads that I have to put up with, a lot Miss King, but we're we're working through the, you know, I work through that, but everybody's got their issues to bear and I think that's one of mine. I do. Yeah, I interact with Miss Tammy a lot. I'm also one of the other things I do is the uh, detention monitor. So, 3 days a week I'll uh, be observing the detention. So, I, I work with Miss Tammy a lot on not only scheduling but also the detention monitor. Mm -hmm. An easy part? Mm -hmm. You know, n none of my job is complicated. I really enjoy my job. It's there's, you know, some challenging parts to it. You know, it's all pretty. I don't want to say easy, but it's not it's not complicated. It's not hard. The hard part of the job, mm -hmm. probably during testing season. That's really challenging in the spring we do a K through 8 testing, all the uh, standardized tests. It used to be called TCAP, now we use the Aspire and you have to organize all that and make sure all that's ordered and ready to go. Implementing it in, in May, so that's usually the most challenging time of the year for me. We want to thank Mr. Green for taking the time out of his busy schedule to sit down and share a little bit with us about his teaching career. Now we want to hand it over to one of our students, Nick Minette, to talk a little bit about what he loves about Christmas. Cool. All right, talk. Hello. All right. We're good. All right. What do I? What do I oh, There's so name. many people coming. Say your name and spell it. My name is Nick Minot. There's so many people now. All the seniors are coming back in that bus and they're going to make fun spell of us. N I C K M Y N A T T T T T T. Nick Minot. All the seniors are going to make fun of us. Oh my God. I am sitting up. We're done for. <laughs> we're done. We're done so. We're locked outside. We're cold. I'm cold. This is all we got. Dude. 
What do we ask me questions? Oh man. So much. So much stuff. I'm having a blast. There's so look at how many people are in line. Can we go back inside where it's warm? I wanna go back inside. Hey, let's go back inside. They open the door. This brings us to the end of our December 2016 Eagle Eye episode. Uh, we want to thank you guys for a great 2016 school year, and we hope that 2017 is just as good. My name is Clay Real. I'm Robert Weimer. And before we go, uh, we, we just want to ask you guys, uh, if you want to learn anything more about NCS or keep up to date uh, with all of the goings on here, head over to ncsstudentnews.com where you'll find plenty of news about all the goings on here at NCS, as well as some articles from the rest of our broadcasting and journalism crew.